styd. Ja, oh, to the memes. Oh, well, good evening. Ladies, lads and lassos, and welcome to the click. You look amazing today, and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise, because they will be a filthy liar. So today, we're going to do something amazing together that I've been looking forward to. We're going to look into r slash facepalm, and I do hope you enjoy this journey just as much as I enjoy dragging, <laughs> dragging you down in it. <laughs> enjoy! I just read an Amazon review, not for one of my books, that said, it feels like the author was just making it up as they went along. And I can't stop laughing. Like, dude, I hate to tell you this. <laughs> I, I can't believe Lord of the Rings was not based on real story. A, a scandal. Lord of the Rings. Vaguely based on a true story. There once was a bunch of short people looking for a ring in the woods. <laughs> yeah. At just 14 years old, my boy is already smarter than 90% of grown adults. This is what is possible when you raise your child chemical and vaccine-free people. Results, your IQ is 80. 9.12%. Your IQ is in the top 90.88%. In a room of a thousand people, you would be smarter than 91 of them. I think you misunderstood the scale. It's like the other way around. So this is... Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> to be fair, IQ is by no means a, you know, completely accurate measure of intelligence. It's heavily debated and it's kind of old school, etc, etc. But this is weird. Like, I normally kind of cringe when people try to flex their IQ, but this is not even... Oh, it's so... Oh, please. Why would you do this? Someone asked my professor the difference between effect and effect, and he said, Honestly, I have no clue. I have a PhD and wrote my entire dissertation without using either word. Just tried to avoid it at all costs. You know, a language is going well <laughs> when the best tip you have is just avoid the word. It's just... It's just garbage. Please. Also, a medal thing. Okay, so he goes up to third place. Okay, a bit of hugging. A kiss on the cheek, that's weird. All right. Um, wait, that's the gold medal. Wait, why? <laughs> why did they give the gold medal to the third place? <laughs> what? Was he just trying to be cheesy and cute in a really weird, creepy way? What, what was that all about? I can't tell if this was a genuine mistake or some kind of like, you know, super freaking Sigma move that no, none of us normies are, are alpha enough to understand. My whole family is vaxxed and we just had COVID. My friend wore a seatbelt and got in the car crash. Well, I wish I could say this was an intelligent comment, but I can't! See, seatbelts were never meant to prevent a car accident, just reduce the risk of injury if you get one. So, yeah, it's the same thing, but... <laughs> vaccine will not prevent you from getting coughed on or getting splooshed by the virus, but it will decrease the risk of getting seriously sick of it or decrease transmission and all that kind of stuff. So, it's not a perfect analogy, obviously, but it's kind of close. Some guy made an 11-hour response to my Joker video. Oh my god. Holy sh**. Someone said something I don't agree with, so it must be what about the video I made. Okay. I thought it might be a response to me because they put my face in the thumbnail and titled it in response to Jenny Nicholson. <laughs> It's not about you. You're just making it up. Uh, you're just pulling uh, pulling connections where there are none. Stop being so narcissistic. If a 12-year-old is R-word by her father, and the father takes her to get an abortion, the evidence of the crime will be destroyed, and he will go on to doing the bad stuff to his victim for years. If, however, the child is born, his crime will be discovered, and she will be rescued from the bad stuff. That is messed up. Let's just forget about how traumatic giving birth to her father's baby will be, as well as how messed up both psychologically and possibly genetically the baby will be. Not to mention that what commonly happens is that nobody investigates who the father is. And now the bad person has two minors under his care to do d bad stuff to. Many times the baby is raised as if they were the mother's sibling. Oh god, no, please, Jesus. What do you mean there's no evidence? There doesn't have to be a baby for there to be evidence. What are you talking about? What? I just imagine like a very cartoonish scene where like a baby is, <laughs> is just stuck in an evidence locker. It's like, I grew up in this evidence locker because, you know, some bad stuff happened 20 years ago. And yeah, I'm the, I'm the only evidence that could ever exist. <laughs> Here's another video. I have a question. How are we breathing in cars? Because like there's no air holes in a car and like you shut your doors. So like how does the oxygen like get in? Uh, and there's like no law to like open your window every five minutes. So like, how do you breathe in a car? Is this, is this serious? I can't, I can't, I can't tell anymore if it's serious. I don't know if I'm losing my mind or. 
First off, any enclosed room has a certain amount of air. You know, the oxygen doesn't just disappear as soon as you close the window, so even if it was theoretically airtight, you probably wouldn't just suffocate right away. Uh, secondly, most cars have like an AC, and they're usually not airtight. That's why cars usually kind of fill up with water if they, you know, fall into the ocean, for example. 740,000 painting is ruined after a bored security guard draws eyes on the faceless figures on his first day in the job at Russian Gallery. Look at that. I mean, you, you could say that they improved it, right? It's an improvement. They add the details to it. It's obviously more expensive now. See, I know how artwork works. Give me one reason why any civilian needs to have access to something like this. Oh my god. Because people like photography? That's just camera equipment. It actually is. You have the whole like standy thing in the front. You have the little camera lens on the top. You have the little handles and thing and a big camera lens thingy on the back. They have just placed it in a very suggestive way. I love that someone fell for this. That is so funny. I'll take your picture to death. Oh no, don't fl shoot me with your flash, please. How old were you when you realized your original plan of being really nice, working really hard, and taking on much more than you should in the hope that it would automatically reward you for this without asking was total BS? Yeah, I think everyone has this kind of experience at some point. My first experience with this, at least like to the extent I took a big life decision because of it, was actually when I quit my full-time office job to give YouTube a shot. <laughs> I was in a very similar situation to what this post describes. I was a couple years into my post, I had purposefully taken on very difficult projects and that kind of stuff, and done really well in all of them. Everyone was super happy with the work, the customers were happy, everything was good. I took on voluntarily educational materials internally on the company without anyone else asking me to do so, just because I thought this is something I have experience in, and generally became like a go-to person after just one year. I was still pretty junior, but because I knew a bunch of stuff about statistical math and a bit of programming and stuff, I became a go-to person for a lot of the problems people had with technicalities. But when the time came to discuss salary, I was basically put on the kind of salary progression where it barely compensates for inflation. And when I asked like, okay, but what about all the good stuff I've done? Uh, the only answer I got was basically that, number one, uh, it is expected in your role to make customers happy. So that's just part of your, you know, basic tasks. And number two, we have a set budget for the team. So if if you want more moonies, that means someone else gets broke. Manipulative BS. If someone gives you that talk and you have the option, walk. Holy crap, it's so toxic. So the next day I handed in my papers and uh, they actually asked me if I would stay if they offered what I wanted, but I said no. Uh, fun story. <laughs> There are a lot of things in life that are like this, because both parties want the opposite. They want to pay you as little as possible because it's a higher profit, you want more pay because, well, that's good for you. So you will probably never get that for free without fighting for it unless you're really lucky in the place you find. Which is kind of bad in one way. I hope most employers out there in the future just kind of realizes the kind of value someone brings to the table and are honest about it and wants to provide a competitive salary where it actually means a competitive salary. Anyway, rant over, let's meme. Ah, <laughs> you won't socialize medicine? And tell me again how good Canadian healthcare is. Tell me what way times your serious medical procedures. Did you guys learn anything from the complete failure of Obamacare? My uh, husband needed brain surgery. World-class neurosurgeons removed a wedge of his skull, used lasers to remove scar tissue on his temporal lobe, and then put his skull back together. My biggest expenses were parking and snacks for stress eating. <laughs> The plot twist, the parking, was $5,000 an hour, and the snacks were caviar. This man threw himself on the floor when he was asked to wear a face mask. <laughs> like how the dude above him is just like, Oh my god, who's the big boy? Oh. Over 70% of Americans who died of COVID died on Medicare. And some people want hashtag Medicare for all. Uh, many people who die do so in hospitals. Ban hospitals. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, it's like in German. It's literally called Krankwagen, which is like sick car. It obviously makes people sick. Oh. When we both fall asleep. Ah. Oh. So the bed bugs taking pictures for you then. This is like when people take selfies. And they say like, oh my god, my bae took this. And it's like, you, know, you see a mirror in the background or something when you're just holding the camera. It's a fine picture. Why do you have to lie? <laughs>
1942 colorized. This is 2022. Oh, it's a little book burning. Well, that, that seems very informed and sound decision. Not at all. Stop doing- Oh my god! Salties in my chat. Why can I see that? Don't be a salty, you- Anyway, no, don't burn books. It's bad. Learn to read, in read instead. Sydney Kartner, women's basketball coach. Is her outfit appropriate for as a basketball coach? What? What do you mean? She's just wearing, like, a normal shirt and jeans. What are you- <laughs> What are you talking about? Which animals could you beat in a fight? Which of the following animals, if any, do you think you could beat in a fight if you were unarmed? Brits? Americans? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Wait. Elephant, grizzly bear, lion, gorilla, crocodile. 10% think they could beat the grizzly bear? <laughs> I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you here, fam. No, you could not fist, pun intended, a grizzly bear to death. Believe me, it would definitely fist you to death first. Pun also intended. So this is a one-of-a-kind piece. Ooh. There's no other one like this particular one in the world. And you can see that means the must be expensive. go this way. And um, it's really cool because it, it records much more accurately than... Oh, well, it used to record oh much God. more accurately. Um, well, that does happen every uh, once in a while. <laughs> I love how he's just trying to brush it over. <laughs> well, uh, this, you know, stuff just casually explodes on set sometimes. You know, it's probably worth a lot of, but you know, it's, it's quirky. <laughs> oh, cop shot in face by unarmed black man. I had the same facial expression reading this. What do you mean? What do you mean? What? Finger guns. I told my dad I ran out of alcohol, and I didn't have any money to buy any for the weekend. So he gave me the huge bottle of vodka from the cupboard that I stole and replaced with water when I was 16. Life really does come back to bite you in the butt. He knew. He totally knew. He knew you had replaced that, and this was his way of, like, without even saying anything, like, yeah, take this one. <laughs> Honestly, I, th I think parents know more than teenagers think they do. I was in a park and a lady loudly called out, Anybody here wants ice cream? Come over here! I headed over with several others. She handed out ices to all of them that asked me, Who are you? I realized the rest were all her family. 30 years later, I still cringe. Oh my god, that's so bad. Oh no. <laughs> I just wanted free ice cream. No. I love the stock market, because when it goes up, we get nothing. But when it goes down, we all lose our jobs. Except during a pandemic, when it goes up and we still <laughs> lose our jobs. <laughs> what a wonderful world it could be. Okay, here's a video. Oh, they're messing with the cart. That's pretty fun. Yeah, I think I did that sometime as a kid. Oh, and they got stuck. Oh, were they making a TikTok for it? And now they're stuck in the entire <laughs> just work team has to rescue them? They have to cut them out of a freaking cart! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I have to know this. From anyone who happens to watch this video, please tell me in the comments. If you're working at, like, you know, a door security guard, or you work with something like this, or you have any line of work, really, where you have had to help, or kick out, or been bothered, or anything like that, but, like, TikTok challenges. Like, weird online challenges. Please tell me your stories in the comments. I would love to read them. This is- this is so funny. <laughs> Today, my son Ethan came home with another homework from his wacko teacher. According to this teacher, we are all supposed to be homo sapiens. <laughs> Lady, you know nothing about science, I tell you what. There are people out there who consider themselves to be hetero sapiens. Okay, just like me and billions of people around the world. That lady sure is dumb. Just because she's one of them lady boys from Thailand doesn't mean we're all homosexuals. <laughs> First thing tomorrow is give that lady a piece of my mind. <laughs> Please don't give her a piece of your mind. There isn't that much to share in the first place. You need every single piece you can get. Joker without makeup. That's really disrespectful. He was clearly injured in some sort of way of war or what have you. He is probably so depressed his face is scarred like that. He has to wake up every day seeing his own face would make fun of him like this frick off. Mm -hmm. Seriously, anyone who make fun of this is just fricked up. I actually think he's still more attractive than half the guys out there, even if his face looks like this. Uh, you guys do realize us. this is literally the Joker without makeup. This is Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight, in a scene where he's hiding in a group of policemen. <laughs> ah, the internet getting upset about things that aren't even real. I'm not even surprised anymore. I was best man at my friend's second wedding. I started my speech with, Welcome back, everyone! He was not happy. Hashtag wedding fail. I... I, I can't imagine why. If every doctor quit today, it would suck, people would die. Bad news, the world would go on. If every trucker quit, that would be the end of civilization. I'm not entirely sure what point you're trying to make. There are different jobs for different purposes. Yes. 
If every plumber quit, things would get... <gasps> oh, that is tr true. Found this in my daughter's bike jacket. I am so worried. Oh, no. She is uh, addicted to testing the, the pressure in her tires. Oh, dear. Oh, what have they done? Oh, no. You want to make the owner uh, insecure? Just make sure to... Oh my god, cut the dog so it's like 10 times as thick as you will ever be. I really can't believe this is the same pandemic where y'all bought all the toilet paper and flour for survival, but now won't get the vaccine. Why do I feel like that's the same people? The same people you saw in viral videos fighting for toilet paper back in like April of 2020 are like the same people who's like, Oh my god, I am a strong, independent dinosaur and I don't need a cloth mask because that would be a... A sign of control, not that I follow, like, you know, literal thousands of regulations in, in society already, like, you know, traffic rules or seat belts or taxes or work or, you know, proper dress codes or health regulations or whatever you have. But no, th this specific one, that, that yeah, that's really important. Wow. Outdoor yoga in Dome Pop-Up coming to Toronto. Why? Why, why are you even out? Just do it in... What? So we just let the homeless sleep in the freaking rain and snow because why? <laughs> just use the gymnastics hall or just be outside. God, this is so weird. What? You better do yoga in a dome because it reflects the sun rays and makes your skin activate its at atom crystals. I am 27 years old. I have $120,000 in debt from an undergraduate degree. I've been paying $970 a month for five years of the nearly 60K I've paid in that time. Only 2K has gone to towards my loan. I ask again, how the frick was this ever legal? I was lucky enough to get my degree in Sweden where education is free. Well, apart from the materials you have to get, but that's like relatively small amounts. If I had to pay that amount for an education, I probably wouldn't have gotten it, to be honest. It's just, it takes your entire life to pay it back. It's such a ridiculous sum of money. It's so, it's so strange, man. It's so strange. And I'm not saying that as like, oh my god, why were you such a bad person to get an education? Like, no, you, a good education should be available. I'm more shocked at why the system has gotten so incredibly expensive. It's wild. Ladies, is it gay for a man to pack a lunch for work? asking uh fellas does this lunch box make me look gay oh two plus two times four is all of this i don't know what stresses me out more the fact that 26 percent somehow got 13 or the fact that the correct answer isn't even an option ah uh, twitter twitter i'm gonna give the original poster the benefit of the doubt it might just be a troll post and it's funny but 13 there are no and 50 god there are, there are no like uneven numbers how would you even okay here's another video what why is my soap so square? What did you do to my soap? <laughs> you shaved it. Why you shaved? Did you shave it? I thought I used it. You shaved, shaved my soap. Shaved the soap. Weirdo. I mean, you would get rid of the nasty edges, that's for sure. Know. Like, it would be all smooth and, you know, looking new. Did you? Why'd you shave it? <laughs> Sorry. Wait, that's not a soap, is it? <laughs> is it a soap? You took my cup away. You have to replace it. Wait. <laughs> that's so good. What? Is it good? Are you filming me? It's a good soap. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's a potato. <laughs> <laughs> you just cut a potato <laughs> in the shape of a soap. Where's my actual soap? <laughs> ah, get clean with soap today. A potato. I was at the store and I saw a kid with a band-aid from a vaccine shot and then had to yell at they are parents for 10 minutes trying to explain the dangers of vaccines to them. When I was done, everyone clapped. So glad to have so many supporters. Clap if you believe this never happened. <laughs> I yelled at, at like a family with kids in the mall and everyone loved that. Snoop Dogg smokes weed right before Star Strutter's Super Bowl 2022 halftime show. Breaking news, Snoop Dogg smokes weed. Why, my world is not changed at all. Hey, I recognize you from social studies. The way you refused to wear your mask was hardcore. Huh. Oh dear, it's Vincent, the biggest, baddest delinquent in school. Ah, uh, thanks. What are you in detentions for? Yeah, make America great again. Yeah, Lucy, got freaking detention is really steamy. Here is why I'll be keeping my shoes on in your shoeless home. Why are you assuming that your guest's shoes are dirtier than your floors? Well, I don't know, but here in Sweden, that's like kind of the norm. You just don't go in with your shoes. So I'm gonna just <laughs> go out on the limb and say, 
yeah, my vacuum floor are probably cleaner than, than, you know, your shoes that's been on a dirty road and stomping around and I don't know, dog poo. Instead of calling them conspiracy theories, we should call them spoiler alerts. Ah, because accuracy. <laughs> Ooh, I found a cooking tutorial. Hell yeah, let's watch this together. Okay, wait, those are eggs inside raw chicken. What are you doing? Wow, doesn't that look good? Now we're gonna get the next stuff ready, right in here. What even is this recipe? What are you trying to accomplish? Perfect! Want it to open? So seam side down. Okay. So. Okay, so you're gonna fry it, but it's it's chicken though. Oh, it's a thick chicken oh my with a raw it. egg. Open it up. How beautiful Open it up this right one. now. Is it good? Oh my gosh. Wow. Now let's get salmonella together, girl. Woo, salmonella. Nothing says girls night like a little bit of salmonella. Who said I can't cook? I think you did. <laughs> Billie Eilish responded to Kanye West's claim that she dissed Travis Scott by coming to a fan's A during a recent Atlanta show. Eilish stopped mid-concent to ensure that a fan in the crowd receive access to an inhaler. Her actions drew some comparisons to the November 2021 Astro World tragedy in Houston, when 10 people died as a result of a crowd crushing during a Travis Scott performance. In an Instagram post, Yi threatened to pull out of Coachella unless Eilish apologized to Trav and the families of the people who lost their life. Because... What? <laughs> The 20 year old responded to the post, writing, Literally never said anything about Travis, we were just helping a fan. <laughs> You're being a decent human being? Well, that's that's slanderous towards these b b douchebags over here. So that's. That's bad. A Siberian teenager has been sentenced to five years in a penal colony after attempting to blow up a Russian government building. In Minecraft. <laughs> well, they sure blocked them from doing anything bad in the future. Okay, no, but this, this is. This is just what? Some white people may choose yellow thumbs up because it feels neutral, but some academics, what academics, argue that opting out of this one signals a lack of awareness about white privilege akin with society associating whiteness with being racist? What happened to my Simpson emojis? I'm so disappointed. Ah, Twitter, let's wake up today. Oh, it's a perfect day. Nothing bad is happening. Looks like we have to make up some things to be upset about. A friend's grandma got COVID. She's recovered. How did she get COVID? Well, she's been sneaking off to karaoke bars that are covertly operating illegally without COVID precautions. <laughs> Illegal, underground, grandma, karaoke bars. Am I uh, disappointed? Amazed? Losing my mind? All the above. Illegal underground grandma karaoke bars. This is like the, the whole underground liquor thing back in, what was it, the 1920s or something? <laughs> this is so good. I love this. Due to it being hashtag Pride 2021, I feel safe to come out. Today's the day I am hashtag transracial. I am now a black woman. I have successfully went white to black. I am able to say the N-word and... Oh dear God. Oh, honey, no. Are you one of those, <laughs> one of those who thinks that the B in LGBTQ plus stands for black? <laughs> God, I have such a hate-love relationship with the internet, I swear to God. Oh. My grandma and her siblings got together to read their parents' letter from the war, thinking it would be beautiful and wholesome. But turns out the letters were so filthy, ranchy, and horny that several of them had to leave the room. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what did you think? They were like 20 years old, and they were apart from each other, not being able to do the naughties. This was basically their sexting, but with letters. Almost halfway to our goal. 4,900,000 of a $1 billion goal, and yes, we'll keep going. People fund the wall. December 2018. My god, this is a throwback. Damn, this is BC, <laughs> before COVID. Yep, definitely halfway there. <laughs> My ribs keep turning out dry. Is there an easy way to make them more moist? Uh, you should have plenty of time to apply moisturizer while you're on the toilet. S sorry, why are you talking about toilets? I'm asking about ribs. Oh, you poor soul. This is IBS. You're looking for r slash ribs. Depending on how good the ribs are, you might need, you know, tips afterwards. We were born with an immune system. Our ancestors survived this long not because of vaccines, but because of immunity from our immune system. You do real- okay, okay. <sighs> You do realize vaccines are made to boost the immune system, right? That's the whole frickin' point. And also, before vaccines were a thing, yeah, we, we survived as a species, multiple pandemics and stuff, but, like, the, the, the mortality rates were frickin' nuts. 
And that's what you avoid with a vaccine. Instead of just waiting for the virus to kill off half the people, and then you're like, oh, maybe there'll be some survivors that got immune in time, like heck yeah. You can just make them immune without having half the people dying. That's, that's pretty cool, right? Starbucks. From first dates to engagements. From accidental meet-cutes to lifelong friendships. Share a photo in the comments and tell us how Starbucks has played a role in your love story. Here's a picture of me waiting in the unemployment line after Starbucks fired me for trying to organize a union. Oh, Starbucks. Creating love. Have you ever been to a restaurant that does not give you the change when you pay with cash? My bill was $47.20. I gave the waitress $100 and she only gave me back $53. Yeah, but that's... As more, though. I called over the manager, which was our waitress. She said we don't usually carry change. I told her to give me my $100 back and I'll pay with the credit card. 80 cents would not kill me, but it's the principle. If they do this to everyone that pays cash over a year, that could be a lot of money in their pocket. Or, you know, the, the other... They were doing you... It's Okay, you know what? You know what? I think you're too far gone. Vote or die. LeBron, I'm only 12. I can't vote. Do it. I don't want to die. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god, we, I found like a science -y TikTok. Let's see how scientific this is. This is what they want you to believe. Oh, wake up already. They want you to believe we are flying through an endless universe going 500,000 miles per hour. Okay. If you believe we have been going 1.3 million miles per hour flying with the Milky Way for thousands of years and yeah. not crash into other planets, you have been yes. successfully indoctrinated. This is absolutely... Why does no, an it's not. Burn up going ridiculous speeds, but the Earth doesn't. <laughs> okay, so wait, wait, wait. Do you know how stupid that is? You can't even see those speeds. How does the water on Earth stay level? NASA and all the space agencies have successfully. Yeah, how does the water sp stay level? Okay, how how can you hold the water glass on a train? The same thing, right? Okay, okay, let's let's go through this bit by bit, shall we? 500,000 miles per hour. Well, that's relative, and I, I believe this number is probably relative to the Milky Way core, if I were to guess. All the speeds in the universe that you measure are basically uh, the, the relativity. When you measure how fast your car goes, it's relative to the ground. When you measure how fast the Earth passes the sun, it's relative to where the sun is. Like, absolute speeds isn't really a thing in a cosmological perspective. There isn't one fixed point that you can measure with. So, typically what you do is that you decide on a point that is the greater one. For example, measuring the speed of our planet, so you can measure it around the sun. Uh, the whole solar system, you can measure it the speed compared to the galaxy core. Of course you can travel in space without crashing into stuff. Do you realize how much empty space there is compared to actual matter? It's like a b bonkerous... Let me actually Google that. What percentage of the universe is empty? The universe is, is at least 99.9999999999999% empty space. Floating in this vast dark void are all sorts of different objects which astronomers call celestial bodies. A vow. Yeah, with that percentage ratio, it's not so... Impossible that you can travel through space without crashing into another planet. And also, water staying level? Well, that's because the water is tra traveling along with you at the same speed in the same direction. The same thing as you would be holding a water glass on a train. It only goes splooshy sploosh when the train slows down or accelerates, which means that you have a heaviness, or whatever it is in English, I don't even know, I did mechanics in Swedish. Tröghet! Um, which means that when you slow down or something, there needs to be a force applied to the mass for it to catch up in speed. That's basically how it works. You would only notice this when something slows down or speed up. Same thing, you don't feel the movement of the Earth, because, you know, the ground you're standing on and the air that's in your face is moving at the exact same speed in the same direction. That's why you don't feel that kind of velocity. And also comets burning up in the atmosphere? Yeah, they burn up because there is air. So there, it's creating friction. The air, the air particles basically makes it very hot. But in space, it's vacuum. So a planet doesn't randomly get super duper hot by just traveling through vacuum because there is no matter to get frictioned against. Um, so this is <laughs> this is hilariously bad. It's so many gotcha moments that are just I, I don't know, like ninth grade science. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this beautiful journey through the internet's endeavors, and I hope to see you very soon in the very near future, you beautiful bean. Mwah.